Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and I wanted to take a minute to share a really, really important and effective and useful and easy tip with you guys to potentially help you save the life of a cat or maybe even multiple cats or a kitten, because especially in the winter time and when the weather is cold out, this is so important to know. And that is to always, always check under the hood of your car or do something like honk the horn, tap on the hood of the car, anything of the sort to check and see if a cat or an outside creature happens to be finding some shelter within that hood, or sometimes it can be on top of a tire under that I'm not a mechanic here, don't know much about the cars itself, but is it a tire bay or is that where you pull the car in? I don't know, but I'll put some pictures up here so you can get an idea. It's so important to check before starting your car to ensure that there are no feline fur babies that happen to be seeking shelter in these spaces. Because if you do start your car and if you do even get as far as driving off, it is not a good fate for these kitties. And I had a couple of friends actually say that they have experienced this firsthand where a kitty unfortunately lost its life because this simple precaution and step wasn't taken. And if you're like me and always running late everywhere you go and you just jump in your car and turn it on really fast and drive off, the best way to remember to do this, because it's not going to be on the forefront of your mind, especially if you haven't built a habit out of it or a routine, but the number one thing to do is to take a post-it note and leave it on the wheel of your car or even attach something to a keychain and hang it over the key insert to your car so that it's something interrupting your pattern to remind you to honk your horn, to go tap on your hood, to even open it up if you can do that quickly enough, just to ensure, especially if you live in a neighborhood like mine or like a lot of neighborhoods or even cities out there where you know that there is a community of outdoor neighborhood cats or feral cats, then you really, really want to take this step as soon as the weather starts to cool down and get chilly. This can also apply if you have an outdoor shed with a tractor or something else with some kind of compartment and motor in it. You always, always want to make sure and check just in case because kitties, especially out on farms or even anywhere outdoors where they can find shelter, they're going to find shelter if they are outdoor or feral cats and if it's getting cold outside. So if it's chilly, wherever you are, grab that post-it note, grab an index card, a, a piece of paper with some tape on it, and just write something on there to ensure that you remember to check your car before you start it and place that right on your steering wheel to remind you. By doing this, you can potentially help to save a little kitty's life. And by sharing this, you would be sharing it with others who would have never thought about something like this, wouldn't have taken any step to do so. And it could save potentially a lot of trauma and just bad things from happening. And by the way, if you want to take an extra step, perhaps in providing a warm, sheltered place for outdoor cats, whether it's your own cat, whether it's just neighborhood cats that you care for, they do sell these heated kitty houses that you do need to plug in at some kind of outlet, but you can put them outside. You could put them, for example, I could put one on my catio if it gets too cool, but it looks just like a little dog house or kitty house. They're super cute. They sell them on Amazon and it has a heating pad at the bottom. This is always an option, or you can honestly just grab a cardboard box and put it outside heating pad optional. I don't know how long they last, but I know that places like Dollar Tree sell those little, they're like heat pads or little heat things that you can put in your boots and shoes in the winter time to keep your feet warm. So you can grab a bunch of those and activate them at night before you go to bed to put outside if it's going to be really cold for say some neighborhood cats and put them under a towel or something in a box just to provide that little bit of warmth, even if it is for just a short amount of time. I'm not sure how long those things last, but at least it's something. All that being said, I hope that this tip enlightened you somehow. I was unaware of it before I had cats, to be honest, but this is something really important to be aware of. Again, especially if you live in an area where you've noticed a 
pretty fair outdoor cat colony. Or even if you just have a neighbor that you know keeps an indoor outdoor cat, it's just good to know and good to practice. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share this one with your friends, your family, your coworkers, especially if you perhaps work in a place where you park and there happen to be cats outside sometimes. Hi, baby. You want to come tell them how to save cats' lives with me? Come on. Alfred says, hello, and the lights are way too bright, and I have to clean your eyeballs. <laughs> My little cross-eyed baby. And we will see you in the next video. Say bye, Alfred. Bye.